Well, good morning, everybody. It's Bella here from Rage and Bella Crafts, and it's been a long time. Well, we've had a busy summer and lots going on, and some of it was good and some of it was stressful. So I just stayed at home and after we'd been to France, that is, and created what I could for the retreat, which was wonderful, by the way. I think it's been, it actually was the best one yet. Um, we were only 11 people, uh, lovely ladies, and um, we were so bonded. It was absolutely amazing. So well done, Rachel, from Rachel Bella Crafts for putting such a brilliant retreat together. We have got three new dates. So look on the Facebook page, um, Rachel Bella Crafts Facebook page on Facebook, and you will find the dates on there. No doubt Rachel will be telling you on her channel as well. Talking about her channel, she did put up a video this morning and um, it made me G up and, and do a video because she was talking about my little bird. So I thought I better come on because I got loads to show you. And I've been trying to get myself motivated. You know what it's like when you haven't done a video. Those of you that make videos will know what I'm talking about. It takes a moment for you to get your head into it. So here I am. And uh, I'm going to show you my little bird first, and then I'll show you the other things that I've been making whilst I've been at home. So uh, that is when I wasn't in France and, when, and that is when I wasn't on the retreat. But the other time I was at home making. Um, so here, here she is. Look at look at this. Isn't she cute? I'm going to stand up because I want you to see her properly. And Rachel was saying how she stands out. And I've gone to the left, to the right a bit, so that I can see that you you are getting the full picture. And I've done stitching. What can I point with? Hang on, let me find something to point with. Um, I'll have to use a pen a moment. There we go. Now here, I've just done straight stitches. I don't know whether you can see here if i do it that way maybe you'll see better it's like a two-tone there and it's come down into a darker tone here and they're just straight stitches with ordinary cotton and i believe it may have been this one or something similar just machine cotton okay and it did take a little while but i think it was well worth it and then i've done some straight stitches here and that was with the pearly cotton, all right? And I, if you if you notice the pattern inside is still the same. I haven't gone into where the shapes of the scallops on, on the wing, all right? But I have done straight stitching. You could call it satin stitching, but it's not um, here. Looking at that, I missed a bit there, but never mind. Perhaps I can glue some threads in there. I don't know. How did I miss that? Never mind. Anyway, uh, I didn't do the brown bit either because I wanted this to be raised up. I've done, managed to get a lovely beak in there. So I was really pleased with that. So Woodland Wanderings, that's the name of the um, journal. Okay, so I'll put it down now and then I'll show you inside because I've used Rachel's papers. I haven't yet glued them in, sewn them in, I should say. Now, bear with me because I'm out of practice, okay? Um, now, this I did actually put onto fabric, as you can see. You can tell by that, all right? And it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of Ra Rachel's pages. And I love this. And there's lots, lots of birdies in this um, kit. And that was one of them. And that's another one. So I'm, I may do some more embroidery, but I thought, it looks so nice, I didn't want to touch it. So I'm not going to put pockets here because I didn't want to spoil that. I may put one at the back. I'm not sure. But if you look, if you're into embroidery or anything, you could you could easily put the kit onto fabric and then start doing your, your slow stitching or your embroidery onto here. All right? And I've just... All I've done there is used an old um, cover and I've glued fabric here and on this side as well so that goes right the way across I didn't do it in sections I just put one piece 
because the um the book was so small so i didn't really need it so that's a bit of an old vintage uh fabric i've got there i think i've got the beginnings of hiccup sorry i did do machine stitching around there because i wanted to finish that off and i've and i always stitch on to as most of us do onto two pieces so there's another piece of fabric behind there okay and it makes it easier and it feels better um you know it gives you a little bit of substance so that's the cover okay as i said oh that's my uh, that's my iron i'm going to move that down there a moment because i want to show you something else in a minute so these are the uh signatures i'll go through them quickly okay and just like that nothing fancy just building up layers as i do and these are my books that's one of Rachel's pages out of her kits. She's shown you all the kits, so I don't need to show you every single page. But you get the gist. And I'm going to do everything because I've got a lot to show you. Okay? So, but these pages are absolutely beautiful. And I love that, that they can go in together, side by side, like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, and the same in here, look. Beautiful pages. And as I say, you can even put that onto material, some white material, and you could, um, what do they call it? Fabric painting, don't they? So that's that. So that's that little birdie. So I just thought you might like to see it after Rachel mentioning it. Now, this one is what I'm doing with the Roxy Creations. And I've been dipping in and dipping out with this, I must be honest, because I've, I've done a, few, a little book like this. That was the first one. And then we did the nest and I've just put that and I drew that a while ago in my art journal and I thought, oh, so we're doing magnolia, um, not magnolia, we're doing blooming. So um, we were still in spring, I believe. So I wanted to do a magnolia because I've got a magnolia tree just literally outside my, my craft window here and it's absolutely beautiful in the, in the spring. I can't lift it up because I have actually, yeah, I've attached it to that page with a pin. So I'll just lift the whole thing up, shall I? If I can get hold of it. There, and I've just stitched that. It's not my best work, but it's it's okay. I'm pleased with it. So Magnolia Blooming, and I put that on there with notes and a couple of crosses there. I'm not stitching any of it in yet. I'm not going to put them in because I don't know yet whether I'm going to add pages and do some drawing and some notes some field notes and things like that so there's two signatures there i've been making notes down here so that's that that's the roxy creations stitch along okay so that was that one let me put that up there so what else have we got i've been making there's another bird there i may have shown you this one already but i was working on this um in the week so I thought I'd start doing a little bit of work on there. Some cross stitches there. This is one of my slow stitch books. I love making these. So that's another thing I've been doing. I think I did some of this actually on the, the ship coming back or the boat, whichever you call them, on the ferry coming back. Uh, I did some on, on here. So I may have shown you that already, but that was one of the things. And that's canvas. So I love that. I love making those. That can go back in my drawer. I started making this the other day and I've done some stitching around here. This is quilt material that we have and some quilts. And I thought, now what can I do with these? Because I've got a pile of these and I've started making little booklets with them. So, and this is another one here. And this one is another little book I've been making, which is going to be a needle book. Okay, so that's the sort of thing I have actually stitched that in, look. Just a straight stitch. There, look. And that was something I made, a scrappy button. And then I put this little button on the top and just added that. So that's that's what you could... Because sometimes we get these things, don't we? We get these quilts cut up in little pieces. What can we do with them? So I just wanted to show you that. So that was one idea. This is another one. This is a big one because I've got, excuse me, stretching. Because I've got this beautiful one that I made a long time ago with Anne Brooks. And I wanted to do something similar. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
you're having lots of eye candy today aren't you so i've made this ready i haven't stitched these in yet because i'm thinking i'm going to stitch those <coughs> loose i'm not going to bother to stitch them in till the end as um Anne brooks suggested when we did it the first time so that's another one so that's another idea if you have um quilt pieces okay so this is the inside of the quilt haven't done anything to that except some stitching around here look okay and i put a button on there and this is a doily so i've just laid those up some fabric there and um suffolk puff and a little square square which i've turned to make a diamond okay and the trims i did actually get some loose bits when i cut up the quilt so i've added them down the sides just to make sure that we got trims all around the edge. I've yet to go around and do some blanket stitch around there to tidy it up, and I shall do that at the end as well. So that was another thing that I made. So what else have we got here? Oh, so I made finished off Rachel's uh, other kit. Um, I think this was a faith kit, I believe it was. Let me make sure I'm in, in the camera because she's quite big. Um, so she's got how many signatures? Three signatures. Okay, so you can see that, and that's the side, and that's the back. Beautiful material on here. Um, this was done in the collaboration. Um, I think it was with, oh, I've forgotten her name now. I'll, I'll put the link at the bottom with the collaboration. You can, you can catch up if you want to then. Okay, I did some, I did actually draw this as plain and simple as it is. Okay, and I've put stitching on there, which is very delicate. Creating me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me, Psalm 51. Uh, the last time you saw it, it was half finished, and now it is actually finished. So I'll just do a quick flip through of what, what I've managed to do to get it finished. But I'm going to do it re really quickly. All right, beautiful pages, beautiful absolutely beautiful okay i'm not going to take every um do you know what it was really strange because normally i do um journals really really quickly because i i like to get them finished and i don't like things hanging around but this took me two months i just could not um get into it i don't know whether it was a spiritual thing or what it was i don't know what it was but um it's so pretty as well, but I did finally manage to finish it, so I was pleased because it really is a beautiful kit. So I'll link that at the bottom if you want to go and find it. I've done those in, in that. So there's two of those in there. Okay. That's the sort of thing. Beautiful uh, tags in it as well. This one I put the Temple Bible thing there. And this, okay, just to give you some idea of what's in here. This will be going in my Kofi shop probably tomorrow. Now, I couldn't make my mind up whether to put this one on the front or, or not, but in the end, I chose that one because I wanted to bring out the colours. I don't know, I just like that one, the simplicity of it. I did like this one as well, so I didn't want to waste it, so I put it on the second signature on the front of that. Okay, so that's that. And these are absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. She did a brilliant job. So, I don't think I need to show you all of it. Um, maybe I do, maybe I don't, I don't know. If it's going in a Kofi shop, it might be a good idea. That's a big tag, and I use one of those, um, punches that does the lovely decoration at the top. I don't do them at the bottom because you can never get them in. And there's lace throughout, as you can see here. And some sewing on the sewing machine as well. I haven't done loads of the sewing machine because not everyone likes the sewing machines. So I, I thought, well, I'll just do a little bit. But this is an absolutely beautiful journal. 
spare sheet. That is an Helen Steiner Rice, I believe. I've got I got the book and I've taken pages from out of the book. Created with purpose. But these are stunning. So this kit was out a few months ago, so I will find out the name of the kit and I will put it in the, the um, description box below and then you'll be able to go and find it. There you go. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? So that's stitched as well. That is gorgeous as well. Okay, so that's that. And that's on the spine. I didn't show you the spine, did I? She's lovely. She feels lovely as well, so she's nice and soft. So what else have I been up to? Um, oh, the other thing I was going to show you, where have I put it? Uh, down here. No, it was in this one. I was going to show you the fact that I did the drawing myself. Let me take it out a moment. I'll remember where that's going. And I drew it, and that's why I've got the iron on. So let me take that pin out. And then I can pull the iron out then. Um, let's take it off. There we are. So if you if you can see, I've got, it looks like pen, but it's not a pen. It's actually one of those friction ones. So now it's disappearing. So she will look much tidier if I take off the pen with a little bit of heat because I wrote the words on there as well. Okay. Now, some people say they come back, but I've never had any trouble with it. That's better. So that's why I had the iron on, just to show you. Okay, so I'll unplug that now. There we are. Put that down there. Because sometimes it makes a noise. So isn't that better? So I'll just leave that for a moment. And I can go back in afterwards. Because I still got a couple of things to show you. So that can go over there. What else did I make? I've been making these bowls. And I have so many of them, you wouldn't believe. I think I've got eight in total. So I've got the this one. Isn't that lovely? So that's that one. I made that one. I think I made that one while we were in France. And I think I've shown you this one before. So when we went on the retreat, this was what we were making um, as the workshop. I'm not sure whether I've shown you this one. Sorry about the glare. Let me take those off. And I've done that one as well. And that was one that I did at the bottom. I may have shown you that one. But they're handy. They're really handy. So, oh, there's the Christmas one. I was looking for the Christmas one that I made in the, in the retreat. So this is what we were making. And we were halfway through. Oh, this, this is from Emma. She taught me how to make. Now, it's not perfect because I did too many loops. But I think I've managed to, to to make them. And Emma was very kindly. She gave everyone one of these to go on our key rings. Aren't they gorgeous? But she did actually teach me how to. But I did actually make too many of those. That's why it looks a bit odd. So I've got to really vi visit that now. and Because uh, I've got to teach Rachel how to do it. But this is what I made um, before I went on the retreat. This one. These I made with a die cut. On my big shot i think i've told you about these before i'm not sure you have to forgive me because it's so long because i can't remember what i've done and what i haven't done on camera that was what i was beginning to do but i ended up <coughs> excuse me making i'll show you those in a minute my haberdashery shop are selling these in little packs and they're so lovely it's just wedding material but Whilst I was there, I'm falling off my chair. Whilst I was there, Brenda Butler, hi Brenda, came up with the idea. And I, I had thought about it, but I didn't. I didn't really think about it. Brenda really cemented the idea, and she suggested that we did a card base. If I can get it out, because no, it, it fitted so well, I couldn't believe it, Brenda. So that's what I made when I got home. 
actually I made it the other day and that's all it is I put two pieces of cereal packaging the cardboard I stuck them together then I had I already had this one cut out ready um, because I use it on the base of here all right so without that it's quite as you can see you can even see through it look so Brenda had the idea because I don't mind seeing the stitching on there I quite love that of putting this in the base and you know what Brenda it fitted a treat I don't know why it just did but look how stable that is now and I can put things in there and I've been putting those in there because once you've got things up to the brim, you're not going to see all that stitching. But I quite like the stitching. Now, with this one, it was quite tall, look. So I didn't want that. So I decided I was going to tuck it down. And I don't mind the raw edge. It doesn't bother me at all. But you know the strange thing? I don't know whether it's because I've got something square in there. But it's actually turning into a square look. But I think it's, it's this. So isn't that cute? I love it, absolutely love it. So well done, Brenda. And I can still add things. And I did this quite differently to the way I was teaching the girls at the retreat. I actually stitched all the things together. These, I, I stitched on first on the long strip. And then I, I'm, where's the seam? I can't find the seam. There it is. I actually stitched the seam so I made a circle before I actually started stitching here, look, the straight stitching, and actually it was harder, I have to say. So I would keep it flat and do all your burrow stitching, all right, first, because that was really hard and, and I couldn't keep it straight. So it's much easier to do your burrow stitching or your straight stitching with it, you know, as a long strip, like a snippet roll, but wide, and, and then you can do it quicker because it took me ages but I do love it so let me show you what these are I have got another piece of this somewhere but I've got so much here I don't think I'll find it oh there it is bear with bear with I had five pieces because if you remember I made I got so much stuff here honestly it's unbelievable I made these and we made, I took some of these to the retreat and I sold a lot of these. I even sold the one that I had on my desk because I'd run out of them. And they are cute. They're so cute. But this is how I started like this. As you know, because I have done a video on this and I'll link that below as well. Um, but when I, when I finished making it, it was quite, quite stiff. And I, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really quite want it as as one of those I could have done but I didn't so that's spare now but I can do another piece for that but I've decided I'm going to make these into little journals either a sewing one or I can even put paper in there I haven't finished that one yet so I thought so you they're, they're quite let me show you I've stitched these take the, the pins out and I'll show you how I stitch them I just did an over stitch and who was I watching this morning and they said don't do it too tightly and I did do it too tightly so if you're joining two pieces like this together don't do it as tight as I did it because then you get this ridge and that was why I covered it if I hadn't had that ridge I wouldn't have bothered putting that in so remember that if you're joining two pieces together like this do it very loosely don't tug at it because I could have put them that way, but no, I wanted it that way. I mean, it's fine that side, look, but if you'd done it more loosely, as I should have done, then they would have spread out more and it would have settled down. So I just decided to put that in. I might change that because that actually is a bit too bulky, so I may change that. So that was those, and I've still yet to stitch that. So I thought... I'm not going to waste them because I, I, I didn't feel like making up another box. I've got so many now. It's unbelievable. Um, but there's a few ideas for you. So just a quick catch up. And I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you all for your lovely comments on my previous videos. 
and um, I shall be back soon because I still haven't shown you my all, all the stuff I bought from France and I bought a load from Lempster in the Merchant House and various shops in Lempster and they're all in a big box and it's going to take me ages to sort it out so watch this space and I'll be back to show you bits at a time I think because there's so much of it so take care everybody and thank you for watching and see you soon Bye for now.